What's up, Word Warriors? Welcome to part two of Alchemic Scripting. Hopefully everyone uh, did their morning pages this week and uh, a channel journal and you're experiencing the benefits of that. I'm like totally pumped right now. I just had a really great workout. So while I was working out, I I've kind of had to restructure this. You know, if anyone went and bought The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, I still want you to read the book. But the funniest thing happened a few days ago. I was going through the book to look at what I was going to be talking about this week with you all. <laughs> and a book I've owned 15 years, gone. Okay, so <laughs> when you're living in the flow, you, you understand. Okay, here's the reaction when you're connected. Oh, that's obviously a sign I'm not supposed to be using the book. Okay, okay. When you're disconnected, it's where the beep is my book? What's going on? You know, you totally basically fall apart. So I, of course, took this to my highest self and he indeed has hidden the book for me. It's not completely gone. It's just basically he wants me to channel and just come from my heart, you know? I know how to write, and I'm definitely gonna know how to talk you through this. So, with that said, if you did go ahead and buy the book, I'm gonna get myself another copy. I'm just gonna go ahead for the next few weeks and go off the cuff and tell you what comes to mind to lead you along your way rather than following her work. But please still read the book and do the exercises in it, and we will be referencing it. So, like I said, I do plan on going and buying another copy if I don't locate the copy that Kane is in, but I'm sure he'll he'll lead me to it when I'm supposed to, <laughs> to find it. So anyway, this week, what I want you to do is take a piece of, you know, tear out a piece of notebook paper or get a piece of computer paper, or whatever, and I want you to generate two lists. You're going to need, hopefully you have a little meditative space that you've created some place where you go to do your meditations, um, your sun gazing, maybe even uh, practicing your astral projection. So what I want you to do is in that space, after you meditate, I want you to write a list of all of the negative thoughts and things that have been said to you in general, you know, but I really want you to focus on your creativity. Maybe you've always enjoyed painting or dancing or you like to sing, write, uh, whatever it is. And someone, whether it was a teacher or a parent or a close friend, a brother, sister, basically told you that your dream was stupid or, you know, was telling you that how do you think you can accomplish that? little undermining bullshit that they would say to you uh, basically to to pull the, the rug out from underneath you this happens all the time especially when you're a creative individual and when you're a child you're you're very susceptible to it unless you set it in your mind that you're not really gonna listen to what other people have to say so that takes a certain just kind of the fortitude to do that and not all of us can do that and that's okay so anyway even as determined as I was you know I went through this process of having to dump all of those thoughts so I want you on a piece of paper you know if you gotta fill up two three ten pages whatever it takes write all those thoughts down and then I want you you need to get like a glass bowl glass is the best uh, carries frequency and sound and I want you to torch it burn it up burn it up <laughs> why do you do this I think I mentioned in a previous video ritual is very important and words have alchemic principles and so basically it's called a burning bowl ceremony and I actually do this every New Year's Eve I write any negative things that have happened that I'm kind of holding on to and then I also write positive affirmations okay so you're gonna burn this and while you're burning it and the smoke is going up you know do this in a well ventilated area open a window use your noggin okay 
I don't want anybody YouTubing me telling me they like set their cat on fire or something. So anyway, as the smoke is going up, I want you to feel the release of that, that negative energy. I want you to command that negative energy to leave your physical, your vessel, and your home, your space. You can also buy what's called a smudging herb. Hold on a minute. This is what it looks like. And you burn this, it, it basically clears negative energies. I always cleanse after I meditate, before I meditate. It's just part of the ritual, okay? You can get these at you know, any crystal shop, and it's, you know, near the incense. So anyway, after you get the negative energy out of your heart, your mind, your home, I want you to smudge if you, you can go and purchase this. And then I want you to generate the second list, number two. That's going to be all of your hopes and dreams all of the things that you want, that you visualize for yourself, you know, you can address. I always like to address the whole self for balance, my physical, mental, spiritual, emotional, financial life, and have an affirmation for that year of one focus point, one goal, one thing that I want to attain and make it believable for yourself. You know, know that you can, you can have anything you want, anything that you can dream of is really already yours. It's just a matter of claiming it, setting your intention and then taking the action to get it. Okay. That's all it is. It's all a dream is. And then I want you to burn that as well, but I want you to, as the smoke is rising, releasing that energy to your highest self, that this is your intention, to the universe, to the cosmos, that these things are yours and feel the good connection, the frequency of those things that you want. Get your vibration at the same level so that you can become a magnet for what you want to attract. One thing I'm learning so that's really just your homework this week. You continue with the morning pages. That is, that is just a given now, okay? But the second step is to pave the way to clear out all of those little voices and things that have collected in your mind. I call it the trash bin. Um, this is also something that you can use in your ascension that I have really started to implement. Okay, we're gonna reference our brain like a computer and I've actually always thought of it that way. And so you've got your little trash bin. Well, I've noticed, especially as I'm ascending and basically my vibe is just real strong, real, my frequency is getting higher and higher, that when I get a negative thought, it's like a flash on a, you know, my computer screen. Um, suddenly just that little mental negative movie will flash something somebody said you know, two years ago or something that happened that I don't even know where it comes from. I let nothing get by me now. I mean nothing. That little flash, if you don't attend to it, you know, think of it like a virus. Your computer screen blinks, you ignore it. The next thing you know, your friggin' hard drive is being melted down because of it, okay? It crashes the computer altogether. So the way to avoid this is as soon as you get those little mental flashes, up, oh, going in the trash bin, but we don't stop there because the trash bin is still part of the system. Delete. There you go. Now it's been removed. It can't be recycled back through. I recommend that everyone adopts this habit of, you know, you're monitoring your mind during meditation, but that you're doing it all day and that when these negative thoughts come in and they're out of nowhere they if they don't serve you and the forward movement of your life they do not belong get them out as fast as possible they are slowing you down okay 
when your computer's loaded with viruses, it works slow. It's the same thing with your, your, your mind. The more garbage you've got uh, clogging that up, the less you can flow. You want to clear that space and make room for the new <laughs> and for this new energy coming in, um, the connection to your highest self strengthening now you're hearing their voice maybe in your mind as I, you know it's starting to happen to me so right now we're really using our writing as a tool but this is something this is basically you've got the writing I want you to do the burning bowl for all the past junk that you can identify get it out get it on the page burn it and say goodbye to it forever no more little victim stories okay no more allowing what dad said to you 20 years ago to control you now how that is the definition of insanity okay but if you don't become conscious you're your own worst enemy you don't even need people beating you up because they said one thing to you and then you run with that and you're the one over there clocking yourself over the head <laughs> nuts right this shit is bananas B A N A N A S. So it's really enjoyable for me to pass this information along to help you on your writing journey and also, you know, using the writing as a way to ascend, I think is a fantastic, it's just another tool to add to your little paradigm pioneer toolbox. Don't be afraid. Don't allow what others think of you to determine who you are. You get to decide that, not them. Not them. And you're going to find out something real interesting. When you claim that, when you own who you are, it's on. Nobody can, nobody can take that from you. Once you develop that rapport also with your highest self, the confidence and the strength is unparalleled. There is no, and it's not an egotistical feeling. It is a, it is a core strength that you know. You got my back. Nothing's going to hurt you or harm you. And the more you honor that and have faith in that, the more the magic really begins to reveal itself. <laughs> Good luck to all of you, my friends, my family. I encourage you all to make video along with your writing and get in the game. Get pumped. This is an exciting time to be alive, to be a part of this shift, and it's hard work. But hey, nothing in life that's really worth experiencing is easy. That's the beauty of it. So, come on back for week three. Not sure what we're going to be talking about yet, but I do know that what I've just told you is the second stage. So get on it. Do the burning bowl and much love and luck to you. Namaste.